Roger, you spoke earlier about your rivalry with Leighton and you've also had a great rivalry with Rafa. Have those rivalries made you a better player? Um, well, I think they they maybe understand that maybe I have to work even harder, even though I thought I was already working extremely hard. But, uh, you know, if you do sometimes lose against a player three, four or five times in a row, you definitely should question yourself and maybe, you know, is it just the tactics? Is it your uh, toughness out on the court? Is it your mental strengths that some may be lacking or is it your fitness maybe just not old enough yet maybe you just need more time um, what is it you know and I think Leighton did that to me really early on so he's been definitely a part of me becoming the player I am today in some ways because he really was able to um, you know sort of play in a way where my weaknesses would shine more than my strength and then I was able to turn it around and become the great player I sort of I am still today. Um, just a lot of hard work, you know, and I just think I was a, a player who needed a bit more time to um, to get ready. Uh, he was one of the great teenagers together with Bjorn Borg and, and Rafa, I would say, and I was more of a player who just needed more time on the practice courts, in the gym, um, and just, you know, learning, you know, from playing matches. And I, I always knew I had great matches in me on the biggest of courts, but it was maybe just a time. I wonder, um, I think we both knew we were pretty good, then we, I don't know if, if pretty good is great or if you know that means winning big tournaments or if it's just being a top 10 player, I, I don't know, you don't know what that means. Um, we actually never played in the juniors together, we actually wanted to play together at the Australian Open juniors back in 98, but then he won Adelaide. So I was like, Leighton, you can't just win Adelaide, you know, and then go on and go on the tour and you leave me in the juniors kind of thing. But then we actually did play together at Wimbledon doubles and we lost to Pat Rafter and Jonas Bjorkman, I think, in the third round. So we actually have played doubles together, which was a lot of fun, I have to say. So it's also fun uh, to play against each other again in Davis Cup on the big stages, like at the finals of the US Open or the finals of the Masters Cup. And you go through all those experiences. So um, the rivalry I've had with Leighton has been fantastic and I'm really looking forward to playing him again.